as if the glorious unveiling of girl power wasn't enough cringe for at least a few days, we have some more news from Marvel. Alright, I'll bite. What did you do now? What's that? A redesign of She-Hulk for Enter the Phoenix? Oh, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I haven't used the pillow since Gotham High, so might as well. <laughs> I honestly don't know what's worse. What they've done to She-Hulk or me not being the least bit surprised that they did it. You see, unlike her cousin, Bruce Banner, who turns into a... An enormous green rage monster. When Jennifer transforms into She-Hulk, she pretty much retains herself, but she's more confident and, of course, a lot stronger. And she used to look like this. Not only is she powerful, but she's gorgeous. And along with all those muscles, she has a very keen mind. She is, after all, a lawyer. But for some reason, in the past few years, Marvel decided they don't like beautiful women and declared war on them. They took characters that look like this and turned them into this. And somehow, that's stunning and brave. On a side note, are we sure that that's actually She-Hulk and not the abomination that's transitioned? I'm just asking. And it also appears that I'm not the only one who finds the new design questionable and unappealing. The YouTuber Anna, that Star Wars girl, redrew this design. And I'm not dissing her art skills because there's only so much you can do with this design, but at least she tried to give her back some of her feminine features. And of course, the pro-women, pro-diversity, pro-inclusivity crowd on Twitter reacted exactly as you'd expect. They embraced the idea and started a healthy debate. <laughs> of course they didn't. They started spewing insults and bile at Anna, that Star Wars girl, because of course, they're pro-women, as long as women don't have a different opinion. And yes, it's the usual suspects with personal pronouns in their Twitter bio, the same cowards that delete their tweets the second they're called out, and who react like Superman who's been exposed to a heavy dose of kryptonite at the mere thought of spending money on the things they pretend to like. On a more serious note, the image you're seeing on your screen right now is taken from a publicly accessible forum and the person who wrote this and posted it did so on that publicly accessible forum knowing it would be out there for anyone to see. Of course, it goes without saying, don't contact this person and I'm not going to comment on the selection of words in that tweet. But what I am going to note is that these people clearly have no respect or understanding of history because if they did, they wouldn't have made these words into buzzwords and they wouldn't be throwing them around so lightly at people they don't like or disagree with. And now, let's go back to the abomination. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant to say She-Hulk. You can see how easy it is to confuse them now. Personally, I think this design is horrible and it doesn't fit She-Hulk at all. And I'm not talking about her clothes, I'm talking about her body. With her, it was never about brute strength. Sure, she's very powerful, but the main thing she brought out in Jennifer was her confidence and, yes, sex appeal. You can shriek and ree all you want, but She-Hulk has always been an attractive character. And I will point this out again. She wasn't just strong, she wasn't just beautiful, she was also very smart. But for some reason, Marvel's crusade against femininity continues. Anyway, let me know what you think about the Abomination's new... Oh, whoops! I did it again! About She-Hulk's new design. And I'll see you around. I wonder if the Abomination's gonna become a lawyer now. <laughs>